G'day everybody, it's me again. Uh, today on the bench I've got a uh, Bonaire RT25 gas heater. Uh, it was a roadside find. Um, it looked in very good, con uh, very good condition on the side of the road, so I decided to pick it up and have a look. Um, from what I've discovered, the igniter isn't working. Um, if you have a look, the internal is internals are full of matches. Uh, a lot of dust, a lot of dog hair, but mostly mostly matches and, and, and ash from matches. Um, that that little led, led me to believe that there was a problem with the igniter, and I was right. The igniter, which is that little blue module there, it's getting power in, but it's not providing any spark output. Um, I don't really know if there's a way to test that besides to hook it up outside the unit and uh, see if it makes a spark there, but I doubt it's going to. Um, it seems to have a continuity of about... I don't know how this makes sense. One side's got 6 volts, the other side's got 240. It doesn't make sense to me. It, uh, yeah, it's like it's uh, leaking or something's not right there. I'm sure somebody will correct me on that. Anyway, everything else seems to... Uh, be working fine. The little fan works. It was a little bit sad because it was full of, uh, you know, all this dust and, and hair and, and spy web and goo. But uh, yeah, that still works. I don't think the unit's going to be economical to repair. I think it's only worth about hundred bucks. And I don't know how much the igniter is, but I'll find out. Um, it's probably more of just a, uh, a bit of a lesson for me here, and a bit of uh, a bit of a lesson for you guys too. Maybe maybe nobody's ever seen the inside of a heater before. Anyway, the gas comes in through an Aussie standard bayonet fitting. Now this uh, rubber line here is rated for 7 PSI. Australian Gas Authority rated line. Then comes into the unit, into that regulator there. It's a gas regulator, it's a pressure regulator. Which uh, has an adjustment switch on the bottom, which you can, can't really see. Oh wait, yeah you can, that little silver head right there in front of the line, that's an adjustment for the gas pressure. Um, I'm guessing it could be adjusted to run on LPG. I may try that. There's the uh, each of the gas nozzles for each of the uh, ceramic burners. And basically the gas shoots up out of the nozzle there and gets picked up by this little Venturi, drags air in with it and that's how you mix the air and the fuel for it to burn nicely up there. Right, gas comes in there through the line, valve block which has a uh, oxygen and flame sensor here. If the oxygen in the room drops too low, it'll cut the flame. Also, if the flame goes out, it will cut the, cut the gas. So obviously, you know, it doesn't keep leaking. If the power failed or, or the gas failed and then came back, you wouldn't keep leaking gas everywhere. Blow up your house. Um, right, there's another piece of match, a bit of ash. Uh, the burners themselves are in pretty good nick. No real uh, problems there, but like I said, Bits of ash and bits of match everywhere. Yeah, I'm getting a bit random here with this one, aren't I? Must be the cider. You know, the gas valve there, it's literally a gas valve out of a hot water heater or anything like that. They've just put screwed an extension on top of the uh, on top of the knob there. And uh, comes up here to the control panel. Your power switch turns the fan on and off. I'm guessing turns everything off when you tell or turns the uh, igniter off as well. I wonder what would happen if you turn the power off while the gas was still on. I'd hope that it would cut. I really do. There's another over temperature. I'd say that's over temperature there. So if the temperature gets too high, once again, shuts off the gas valve. That's on the fan outlet side. Um, actually, that's not the outlet at all. I was thinking about that wrong. That's the inlet. The outlet is, well, here, right there. The air's coming out there, so air, air mixes with the heat and blows out the front. Um, and yeah, there's not much else to it, really. I'll probably end up tearing this down, and what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to be cheeky. From memory, natural gas appliances only operate on a couple of kPa. It's like very, very low pressure. I'll have to uh, check the sticker. For use with natural gas, blah blah blah. Refer to local gas authority for confirmation of gas type. Now, as far as I'm concerned, there's not much difference between natural gas and, say, LPG or butane or propane. Um, it's just the way they're handled. Um, so I'm guessing if I use this barbecue regulator, which is for 2 kPa from memory, 2.5 kilograms an hour, 2.75 kPa, right? 
hopefully if I can use that, adjust it down. So some adjustment there, not much, but some. If I adjust it down, hopefully I'll be able to get down to the one or two kPa that's required by the machine, and it will be able to run. Maybe even thinking that I might be able to adjust the pressure on the regulator there. Yeah, someone's going to tell me don't fuck with gas, but hey, I'm, I'm fairly confident with stuff. There's not much I'm afraid of. Um, so yeah, but uh, I might actually give this a, another shot at life as a workshop heater and uh, see how it goes. If it's going to cost a terrible amount to replace the igniter, like I said, I'll just tear it apart and muck around with it. But uh, if I can get a cheap igniter, say for you know, 15, 20 bucks, then I would put it back together, give it a good clean out, make sure it was all safe, make sure everything worked as it should, and I probably wouldn't have a problem on selling it. But uh, like I said, I have to see how that goes. Don't want to waffle too much here, but I know a lot of people like to hear me waffle. Bit of entertainment. It's just a little shaded pole motor, which runs, which runs like a squirrel cage type heater blower. That's all there is to it. There's no actual adjustment for the uh, fan speed. It's fixed. You just turn it on. There's a little control panel up here. So literally, you turn the power on, turn the knob to start, push it down, click, 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 it would ignite, and you hold it down until the gas valve, you know, uh, senses the heat and it would hold. Then you can take it off and then you can adjust the height of the flame. Hmm, interesting. Anyway, that's enough for this video. But uh, what I will try and do is uh, see if I can get an igniter and uh, do as I said. And if not, we're going to have some fun with it. Maybe we'll put too much gas pressure into it at a safe distance and see if it will self-destruct somehow. <laughs> uh, anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching.